Hello everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. So today we are going to look at power and I'm also going to do, uh, I've got some armor prepared so we'll start with that shall we. So the best armor that we can get is the quantum chest plate too. It's got knockback of uh, 20 knockback resistance and 20 armor. Uh, so it's pretty decent armor <laughs> I think by a long way. The next one's along which is probably best is diamond armor but that can be increased with netherite armor so this is eight plus three and then there are some variations of netherite armor so this is it ethereum chest plate has got nine up plus three and a half armor toughness from better end but the recipe for this oops i must have missed type that come back here the recipe for this one is really um Terminite armor plus iron. Atrimming and this one here is oh okay. So maybe that's maybe that's one worth looking at as it happens. But I'm not there yet. I think we've got to go to the end to get that one. And then we've got a crystalline chest plate, which is also not as good as um I don't think that's as good as diamond armor. No, it isn't. Talisman uh tin chest plate, steel chest plate is actually not bad. And I'm going to make this steel chest. In fact, I already made it, so let's be honest about it. Uh, and the rest of these are reasonably low, except for probably the modular chest plate from Industrial Revolution. We haven't started that yet. And the glitch te um, chest plate from Deep Mob Learning Refabricated. I still haven't figured that mod out, to be honest with you. So, diamond, obviously steel chest plates are pretty fairly straightforward. We'll put this on. It gives us a reasonably good protection. And we'll probably need it because I see over here there are some pillagers. Maybe they will come and raid us. But anyway, in the meantime, let's get started with what, what I want to do today. I want to make an Omni tool. So an Omni tool, if we actually have a look at this because it's from a Tech Reborn. Not backspacing, okay, I have to do it manually. So we have this Omni tool here. Now the Omni tool is made from a diamond sword plus an advanced chainsaw plus an advanced drill. So I've got the stuff ready here. So we've got a basic drill. We've made that before, no big deal. Here we've got the uh, basic jackhammer. I'm going to make this one as well because I've not used it and it's there, it's it. It's um, something to make anyway. And then we've got the basic chainsaw. Okay, and then after that we can upgrade all of these. So here we have these titanium ingots. Now the titanium ingots are actually quite tough. It's um, if you look at the recipe for that, then we have to make this in the blast furnace. It's really bad. Okay, modern we can pack, but you can pack in nuggets. Well, that's a bit not helpful. But you get titanium dust. So the recipe for titanium dust, the one that only seems to be practical is this one here, small titanium dust. We can get it by pulverizing ingots, that's not so brilliant. <laughs> the same with grinding them. We can get them from scrap boxes. I've been getting a few from scrap boxes so far. And macerator and packing, again, is the same thing. So let's go back to this one and have a look at the recipe for this one. So the, again, we can get this from scrap boxes. And we can get it from the industrial electrolyzer. So if we bauxite dust plus eight, we'll give us these eight aluminium plus two titanium dust and I think that's the only way we can get it except for scrap boxes so I've been busy making this stuff so I've got a lot of these so we've got enough now to do the stuff so this one here for example is going to be I think the drill so we've got the advanced drill here now the next one along here is going to be the chainsaw like that and we know how effective the drill is already well I do because I've been using it a lot and then the jackhammer I'm not so sure about the jackhammer, to be honest with you. It seems to be very slow. Um, so the next thing we can make is the diamond sword, and we'll do that as well. We've got already got everything was prepared today. Wow, amazing! So let's put those three together. In fact, we'll do it on here. So the Omni tool we can simply craft up like this. <laughs> well, we could do if it actually worked. I think it's this way around. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, it is. So we get this Omni tool. We're going to enchant this Omni tool, but first of all, we're going to put that into the into the battery box and see if we can charge it up. So that's charging up. And that's got one million to go, so it's going to take a long time. So it also uses up quite a lot when you actually use it too. So in the meantime, we need more power. So here I've got prepared 
a solid canning machine. I don't want that one yet. I think I want this one. The chemical reactor. I do want this chemical reactor, actually. Let's do that. Um, but the first one I want to do is this one here. So here we have this reinforced glass. That's used in quite a few recipes. So the use of the reinforced glass, we can make gas turbines. Obviously, it seems to be something good for producing reasonable amounts of energy, medium tier. Uh, Semi-fluid generators are also something good. And the thermal generator is the one I'm going to make. Uh, and the vacuum freezer. I don't know what that's for yet, but we'll find that. And then we can make the ultimate um, solar panel, which we're also going to do today. So let's take these out of here like that. And also put that one into here. There's only one it needs in here. And now we've got this thermal generator. So we've got the uh, magnetic magnetic uh, reward. I think I have somewhere about with me. I've certainly got some lava here because it uses lava to fill itself up. That's full. Um, where would I put it? I've got a, I've got a tank. Maybe it's in my backpack. Oh, we can upgrade the backpack too. Here I've got a basic tank full of lava. So let's come along and put this down somewhere. For the time being, I think I'm going to put it on here. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good place. It doesn't obstruct too much anyway. And then we can put the bucket of lava into it, like this. Shift to click it in. Okay, that takes it out and it's starting to produce power. And it's producing it at a reasonably high rate. Uh, I say reasonably. So what we also can do with this, and we can do this with basically all machines anyway. We can put a, <laughs> uh, my, my whoopee cushion is still there. We can put this on here like that. And then we can say here on the side configuration that we want to pull, I think this is the one. So we want to auto output from the bottom here. So that's, that should be doing that. And I think that's all I have to do. No, I don't, I'm going to do the side again. And let's auto output, no, auto input, that's what's right, yeah. Actually, I don't need auto input, I'm pretty sure I just need to input it like this. Oh no, we do, okay, let's try it again. Or maybe I just need to tell the tank here, because we've got side configurations on this one, on the output side, just to output on the bottom, like that. Let's see if that works. I'm pretty sure you don't have to. No, not yet. All right, let's get that uh, outputting automatically. Still not working. Oh, my goodness. I'm try again. This must be the input slot here. Ah, the top. Yes, that makes a lot more sense. Didn't think about that. Still not working, goodness gracious me. Let's try that again. Auto input. I don't get it. <laughs> I did this before, it did work just fine. Let's go to the output. Auto output, bottom. I'm pretty sure this is the one we need to do. That should be the top face auto input well there we are I'm a bit puzzled by that I have to be honest with you. I'll come back to them in a minute anyway so let's carry on with these let's get these things um, increased so I need the wrench which I think is in my backpack we're simply going to quickly upgrade these three machines four machines like this in fact, what we can also do is claim some rewards because from one of the rewards we're going to get is we're going to get some decent stuff uh, to help us do this upgrades. So, for example, so now we'll look at the uses of this. We can do this. Now I just need the cells. So we, we got everything else. We got three of these plus. So we just need eight uh, advanced circuits, uh, electronic circuits, which I have prepared here like that. Let's try that again uses of those we can then click this into place and it needs one of these it doesn't really matter which one you'll see that they, they're not stacking because they've got different levels of power let's put the next one in here like that i can't do this one just yet because i've run out of stuff i've run out of um um reinforced um glass or oh. so i'll be back in a second because it's night time So let's have a look at the quest book because we've got a lot of quests that we haven't completed so far. So let's just shift that down there and then we can have a look at it. 
click here to start with. We've got 13 qu quests to complete to have a look at. We've got storage. We'll look at that second because I want to do the tech reward one first of all. So we've got six quests with unclaimed rewards. So pretty clearly we've done these all of these things here. So we get not in duly exploiting some logs, but I suppose that makes sense in a way, isn't it? Let's go back again. Then we've got the jackhammer and we get some Sacuino juice, claim that reward, not something you've ever drunk. And then we get the tree tap. We've done that already. Actually, I'm not. I think that one should be the first of these to do because it's the best one of those. We've also got this the advanced machine claiming. So we advanced machine, advanced building blocks. Well, that's actually the advanced casing, isn't it? So from that we get a basic machine casing. So we claim the reward. Uh, have I got my, my inventory full? Ah, oh, yes it is. All right, quickly, let's put some of this stuff away. Saplings can go in here. Food can go in here. I've actually put that into those like that. We could put these two down here as well. I just, as long as I put them in the right place, it's no big good. So one of them was on here, I think. To just check, because it was a bit complicated. And then the next one here is blocked with some um that one yeah those are okay you see they've got a little bit here that's not black so this one here would also be blocked if you look straight up here i think actually no we're all right as it happens still haven't figured out what's wrong with this one tell you what we're back in a second when i figure this out well that took a second i've actually this is sat slots but it's not fluids so here we can pump out, and there you go. <laughs> Funny, it actually has a configuration here. I'm not quite sure why you've got both this, because that's for items, and this is for fluid. So as soon as you do that, it fills up this. I should have remembered. Never mind, I didn't. So now let's come with these, these rewards. I was going to claim that one, wasn't I? Go back again. And what else have we got here that's not claimed? this one and this one we get these reinforced glass so we claim that we get 16 reinforced glass so we can then finish the other two off so let's have a look at the uses of this and then we can shift click those and today we should get two of those which is great and then we can put those down like that these are double by the way so you get 16 um generation rate of 16 the tier is high uh, I, i'm not sure that i fully understand what the difference between high and low is so we could put one of those down here because I didn't notice it was got two spaces between there like that and that's lit up and I think the other one can go here because that's above that one let's put it down like that yes yeah, sure enough so these are now index and like generating 16 e per tick um so I guess that means energy doesn't tell me what this one's actually generating just tells me how full the lava is but you can control these things so it's easy enough to put fluids into this tank just right click it but there is something else that's really neat that i didn't know about until i was messing around a bit so let's just put some of this stuff away i don't need that i do want the lv transformer because the lv transformer well, i'll have a look at how this works this will convert um power it's and i think it's a bit specific as to which direction it goes in i think this one here is the is the side you've got to connect it to because the other faces, if I'm not mistaken, oh no, it's not, as it happens. This is the face, I think. Um, so we should be able to rotate it. Like, uh, maybe we have to do it this side. Ah, I see, you just have to click the side you want it to be facing. You know, yeah. So that's now says how much energy it's got in here. So then we can use standard cables. Um, I might have one or two in here, actually, like 23. Let's just use put down two, and then let's get some uh, some of those other machines machine made that I want to do today. So the canning machine here has very little uses, but it's fairly straightforward. Tin ingots, an electronic circuit. Um, let's have a look at the uses of this one. It has two uses. The primary one that we're interested in at the moment is this sulfur dust. We've got sulfur dust. Um, from one of the processes that we've been using. So if we look at the recipe for this one, all right, small sulfur dusts, 
in the industrial centrifuge you can do sulfur cells that's not useful not the one i've been using grinding stuff up that's also not the one the one i've been using i think is the not even this the industrial grinder here so when i've been grinding galena oil or i got it right last time i was pronouncing it wrong the last couple of times you get uh with mercury but the one i've been using is this one here with water so we get gleaner dust and sulfur dust in reasonably high quantities so that's good so that's what that's used for and the other one here is the chemical reactor we definitely need the chemical reactor this is a medium tier machine um, and it's fairly straightforward extractor compressor extractor invar plates invar is just um, nickel and iron and advanced circuits we've done all of that before i think maybe not the invar but it's standard stuff so we can go and come along here now and put this down and where i'm going to put it down is i'm going to put the chemical reactor here in front of this one and it'll connect up and it'll then be powered like this i'm going to put down here one piece of actually i don't need to do it we could but just for the sake of it let's put down a couple of cable and then we can connect in the, the basic can or the solid canning machine to this one like this like that and that should then get power so we have connected basically the copper and the gold together but there's three levels of um, transformer and you'll see this has also got power um i think i'm going to cover those next time because I wanted to see how well this Omni tool is doing. I want to en enchant it. So this one is the Swiss Army knife, as it says. It's take it's going to take a reasonable amount of time, but this is full, so it's going through here in sort of its max speed type thing. Uh, I wonder if this is the output slot. So when this gets full, it should go across here. Do you know? It doesn't really tell you, does it? So you can copy and paste. So this is here, this would be, uh, it says it's input. Oh, I think I was inputting electricity into this, but I don't think it is. I think this is, let's say this is an output slot, and then this would be an input slot. And these ones we don't care about. In fact, they're linked together. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure whether that's going to work. So you'd put it in, it'd go across, and hopefully it goes out the other side, but it's not going to go into this ultimate solid panel, of course, because two pack together right so now the reason for doing this, this the chemical reactor let's have a look at that in fact let's cl finish claiming our rewards because i haven't done that yet have i um you'll also notice i've got some emeralds and diamonds in here so what i can do here is i can upgrade my backpack let's do that because it's probably time to upgrade it here in fact, it does. I'm going to take anything that's very valuable out of here, and I don't think there's actually that much. Oops. <laughs> well, I've, that's probably fairly valuable. I don't care about the leads. Uh, we'll keep the shulker box. I oh, can't put those in there. Basic machine frames, cooler. That's okay. We'll keep this one. I want those in my inventory. That's good. Oh, hold on. I'm doing that wrong one. I want to do the. I want to press K, didn't I? Oh, a second anything valuable in here maybe the totem of undying this one's quite valuable because i've got that yet though. maybe a diamond axe is good to keep i'll keep the deep learner stuff because it's, and the rest of it will do there's nothing too expensive in here is there so we can upgrade this in situ so if i press in and look at the use of this uh, basically four diamonds and four emeralds will give me a this is a golden, a gilded backpack, and it will give a bejeweled backpack. We should, if I'm not mistaken, keep everything, retain everything in here. And in fact, as you can see, we get two more slots, which is great. Exactly what I need. Um, let's get rid of this stuff and let's have a look at the rest of this, these quests in here. Because that's now, that's, that's now completed yet another quest. So here, all of them are done for the time being. This one we're not going to be able to do. This is a matter fabricator. That's pretty tough. I feel bad for you. This is also a leprechaun hat. Give me hats. Um, a fusion coil. That's also pretty hard. I don't want to do that just yet. And all the rest of these are sabers. And we can make an, a nano saber. And I think that's pretty hard as well. Let's have a look. Nano saber. 
this one. So, oh, two diamond plates, small power glowstone dust. No, it's not, that's not too bad. Two carbon plates, not too bad. And then these are laptronic crystals. So that's made with lazarite plates, which will be just compressing some lazarite dust. Probably got enough of that as it, as it happens. Two industrial circuits. We haven't made those yet. We need platinum. Um, platinum plates, the recipe for those. As we, have, as we know, we've got plenty of uh, rabbit holes to go through. We can compress it in all of the different mod packs. It doesn't make any difference. So then we need platinum ingots, which we can get by smelting sheldonite ore. So obviously something that we have to go to the end to get. Um, I think we can also get platinum dust from scrap boxes. The industrial grinder, so we can grind up iridium ore with some mercury which might well be worth doing um, and that will give us one platinum I've actually this stuff is really really rare if you look for the recipe for this one you'll see that it gives you uh, roughly enough items I think tells you where oh that's where you can mine it from you get a chance actually we might have to look at that one it looks important overworld generation so here it's generated from levels basically 58 and below but look at the chances <laughs> 0.004 or thereabouts so very very rare and a fusion reactor we can then take lithium plus wolframe wolfram yeah and we make an iridium upgrade we're not ready to do that yet it's night time i'll be back in a second so the last thing i'd like to do today is to enchant the um i can put this back on our back flat oops Want to press shift and I press, uh, I press shift instead of pressing E. Right, let's just pick this up. This one will be best. <laughs> well, I say it's been best. It's a bit too aggressive at the moment. This one <laughs> got three dirt and it goes right back down here. Look. Get to it. Right, good. And the third one is from. I don't know where the third one came from. Maybe I can put it. Maybe I can put it away in here. No, nope, it's full. This one. I might have space in that one. I do, but it's not full. Right, okay, we're going to take this and put it on top. But I have put a lever on here, and I've turned it on. See, because you can do that as well. Um, so let's just jump up. If I actually put it across on this side here like that, maybe that works. It'll flow across. Nothing's dropping out yet. And it, as you can see, it's flowing. It's flowing across the whole thing. I want to turn this lever off. It will allow this to work. So you can then basically start and stop it as you want so we need to get 30 levels i'll get 30 levels and i'll just stop it it doesn't take a few seconds i'll be back in a second right we're almost there just reached the 30 i've got the magnet of course which basically pulls everything to us so let's go and see how well we can do with this one i lead, ideally i wouldn't mind having a silk touch on this so let's just put it in. Uh, I forgot to take it out of the bat box, didn't I? There are different levels of bat box as well, which probably we're going to have to do. It takes a while to get up to one million, as you can see. The whole episode as it happens. So let's put this into here and see what we get. Efficiency four, pretty decent. Let's take the efficiency four, and we got fortune two and efficiency four. Do you know I got when I do doing the test, I got exactly the same <laughs> as that as last time. Um, if I can find another efficiency two book somewhere, and I don't think I have one in here, that would be efficiency for mending. Don't think mending applies for this because it's um, it's because it doesn't break. It's from power. Silk touch. I can't put that on. A shame. I'd quite like to do it. This is efficiency four. That would make efficiency five. Respiration 2, not much use. Tempest of Quick Draw, that's not very useful neither. Feather Falling 4, now maybe that's worth putting onto my boots. Up back to Fortune 2. Actually, that would be quite good. I don't know whether the smite will get transferred across. Let's have a look. Because I have um, you find these things around the, around the world, these are uh, anvils. So let's just have a look, see what we can do if that puts anything under here like this. So we get an enchanting cost of nine and we get efficiency fortune three and unbreaking three. Now I guess in that case, it's not too bad. Is there anything else we want on here? 
Look at the C2 Smite. Smite would have been nice. And Riptide 3. That's only for Tridents. But this thing is really a sword as well. I'm surprised it doesn't take that. So I'm going to do this one anyway. And then we're going to have a quick look down, down in the basin. So, uh, in the mines and see how effective it is. So I'll see you in a second when I'm there. Well, here we are. There's some stuff up here, I see. So we'll just have a bash at that. When did I get that? That's coal 10 from 4. That's actually not too bad. It's too bin a bit, isn't it? Let's just move this out of the way and put down a torch so we can see what we're doing. There's bound to be more stuff here. So, for example, this. So this is also a sword, as you can see. It's also got reasonable 7 attack damage and 5 attack speed. So basically, you can just hit and hit. The advanced drills actually got a very similar, not quite, um, but if you upgrade this, the use of this, you could upgrade it to an industrial drill. And that's the same as the Omni tool as you can see. But this one is iridium in ingots and that bus bus is energy chip thing. So that requires two of these which we've already covered as being tough. So <laughs> we need um, <clears throat> quite a lot. I would pr see if I can prepare some of that stuff uh, in between episodes maybe not but who knows quite like to do this one what's the what's the damage this one does doesn't tell you mining level three. Oh yes oh 21 attack damage that's um or oh, when it's active i see and there's seven attack speed oh that's probably something to go for huh so and here we've got some um appetite or and of course with the fortune three on it it's picking up quite a lot of stuff on here too what do we get from that seven from two that's actually quite good normally i'd expect to get two if i'm using a non-enchanted sword so right, i'll quickly go back to base actually i'm only down one level so it's not too too bad because it's time to say goodbye but before i say goodbye let's just finish off the quests that we've done Let's just move that up and put the quest up. But I think I've got a few more quests which we can which we complete. They're all top tier. Oh yes, I can get a space helmet. Give me hats and three pine. And this was for doing an advanced machine casing. Okay, I thought that was also for this one too. Advanced machine casing. Oh, I think that's a mistake. So that <laughs> so that's the second one of those we found. Um, okay, let's go back. Oh, one, two. Sorry, I haven't finished that yet. Have I done it? Try again. Let's go back here. I need to go back twice. Um, not three times. Click here to show quests. This one we haven't done the storage ones. And there's actually eight quests in here to com I've completed. So I've done all of the upgrades until diamond. I've done all of these barrels. Uh, even this one. So we can claim the rewards in this. Probably haven't got enough space in my inventory for doing a gold barrel you get three and an iron ingot that's a pretty decent one as it happens because you make the same you get the same back again plus extra bits gold gives me uh, wooden logs that's a bit weird <laughs> some of the rewards are a bit crazy gold ore plus that from that one which is a gold to diamond upgrade they're exactly the same as all the other upgrades are the same instead of using um, uh, the previous one you just use a block an ingot of iron Oh, was it gold to them? So you use an ingot of gold for that one. I can't claim the reward because my inventory is full. Tell you what. We'll just do the rewards and that's probably that. Let's put those into miscellaneous. Yes, we can do some miscellaneous stuff in here. Take reward, I can put that down here like that. This I can put into tools. We've got that one. I had a, a few, I had a few um, traveling traders around, so I got a few more bits and pieces from him. And then we can get rid of this stuff in here like that. Silver ore, we pick that up. That goes in here if I've got space. Which I have. And then what have we got in here? I think pepperoni pizza will put this hat away. I don't know whether I'm ever going to use this hat. As far as I can see, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I, I tested it out in my test world and I got, oh, okay, not very useful. Let's have a look now. Well, let's claim that reward. Go back. And here we get a diamond. So that's actually good because you get exactly the same back. Plus an iron chest, which is nice. 
And then this is an obsidian one. I don't want to do that just yet. We've also got the bejeweled one that's kind of like reward 16 coal for that. Very random, the rewards from here. We get Sudakini su seed. Now, next episode, I would like to go and do croptosis because I've got. I found out where they all are. So, what's this one? Obsidian barrel. I did an obsidian barrel. That's an obsidian chest. But you need a, a diamond axe to break that. The next one here is netherite backpack. I'm probably not going to do that until for a long time. Uh, and as it goes up, as you can see, the blazing backpack. Oh, blazing backpack, I think, isn't actually netherite. But we have to go to the end, uh, nether to do that one. Let's just have a look at the black at the backpacks. If I actually type it in right. It's not showing me any backpacks, tell you what. Uh, probably because it's the wrong mod. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's what. Let's get rid of this. Too many, too many vertical bars. Right, okay, sorry. So this one here is a blazing backpack. So we need, yes, we do need another, right? And magma, it's a bit expensive. And then a withering backpack, which is a wither star plus soul sand. Um, oh, an endless backpack, which is a withering backpack so with a dragon's head and all the rest of it. Difficult, <laughs> as, we, as you can see. Oh, I must double click this. I will actually plant a zucchini seed, and I think I've gone over my time a little bit. I always know you've gone over time because you've. I'll just put it down here like this. Because of the number of night times. So we're going to finish off. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Next time, I would like to go to the nether, or I'd like to do croptosis. Um, obviously, I've finished most of this tech reborn stuff for a while until we've got more resources. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.